it's me Sarika and welcome back to our channel which is SS Easy Education and in today's video we're going to complete lesson 31, lesson 32, lesson 33, lesson 34 and lesson 35. Well, this is the first time that we're completing five lessons together. Can you guess why? Because after after the number 34 lesson, we're celebrating by reading lesson 35. Because that is our last lesson of English for today's books. So let's start with our books reading, which is lesson 31. So let's get started. So lesson 31 is taking a test. So here, Hannah A. a Read the passage below. Hannah and her twin sister Bina both read in class 6. They're having the half yearly examination at school. Today, they are going to take the English test. Their teacher, Mr. S Mrs. Shima Chodri, Mrs. Shima Chodri enters the class room before the test starts. She gives some instructions to the class. A1. Read the following sentences and write down the instructions that Mrs. Choudhury may give in each situation. Use do not or cannot if necessary. One is done for you. A. Teachers come into the class and find the student uh, making a lot of noise. Answer. Be quiet, please. Do not make any noise. B. Teacher sees books and papers on Students' desk and tells them put away all books and papers from your put away all your books and paper. She teaches number B. Teacher sees books sees books and papers on students' desk and she tells them put away all books and papers from your desk. She gives scripts to the students and says write down your name, class, section, roll number. Subject and date. She gives the question paper and tells them read the questions carefully. Number eight, do not copy from someone else's script. Do not talk with others. You cannot go out before one hour is over. Now, start writing. The next is look at following signs. In number one, there is a horn, H means horn, and beside it, there is a picture of a horn, and there is a cut sign that means no horn. Next is saying that throw dust, that means trash in. So, number three is keep off the grass, and there is a foot picture, and there is a cross sign, and so that means we cannot keep our foot in the grass. Next is cashier. That means the, this is a picture saying cash counter. Then it's a sign which is written slow. Then a, a picture where is a man walking. Then it says a sign which is written slow, and there is a picture, and there is a man who is walking slowly and there in the bottom that is written there is a playground that means to walk slowly when there is a playground b1 fill in the blanks in the following sentences to complete the instructions for the above sentence is the words in the box and do not if necessary and the hospital is hospital ahead do not walk corpse do not walk on the grass do not Throw litter in public places. Use the West Beam. Pay for your goods at the cash counter. Drive carefully. Children's playground ahead. So next is next page is lesson 32. Which is what should we do? A. Read the following dialogue. Bahar, Azim, Joseph, and Susan. Children are the classmates. They're planning a vacation. 
we bahar we have a vacation next weeks vacation next week what should we do ajay let's go to somewhere we haven't seen before joseph right i saw an ad for an interesting place hmm. well here it is bahar let me see ah two day trip to kolkata that sounds interesting look at the picture of the sea beach and the sunrise it looks fantastic as in well i've always wanted to climb a mountain why don't we go to chimbuk mountains in bandarban shuja i have an idea how about we go to the sundarbans we can see some wild animals and also take pictures of the forest and see bahar well well calm down everybody we cannot go to all of the places and do all of the things right at the time at a time right joseph yes let's think about all of, all the options and then decide a1 make a list of the places the friends wanted to go to why did they want to go to this place joseph wanted to go to the kuafatas to see the sunset and sunrise and the beach azim azim wanted to go to the mountain the chimbuk mountain of the bandarban because he always dreamed of going to a mountain then then shujan wanted to go to the ban to the sundarbans to see forest and wild animals and take pictures a2 think of a place you would like to go now write down few sentences about where do you want to go why do you want to go there who do you want to go with i want to go to the mall beach it's not in our country but it's also country and that country is full of island and it means that country is a full island and i love island so i'd love to go there i love to go there and play with water it's a mall it's some food it's some food which are food it's some food which are from maldives and also some photos with my family and also do a video for our traveling and vlogging and channel and others channel which is our that is our main channel which is sunny country of this world and i want to go to with my i want to go with my family and guess what kuakata bandarbo Kuakata, Sundarban, and Kuakata, and I've been to Kuakata and Sundarban and Bandarban, and I, I, I have also did a video about Kuakata and Sundarban because after, because at that time I had channel, but when I go, have, when I went to Bandarban at that time I didn't have the channel, so I didn't even shoot many videos to make a video like Bandarban and like Sundarban and Kuakata. So next is language focus, which is for suggestion. We often use this expression. What should we do? Why won't we? How about let's etc. A three. Write the short dialogues for the following situation. Use the expression in the language focus. You and your friend want to do a class project. Discuss and decide what to do. Clues: poster drawing, wall magazine, drama, etc. You and your friends want to buy a gift for a teacher on his or her birthday. So I will do number B. So so and so this is your homework because this is a you need to discuss with your friends. So now let's go to our next page, which is next lesson, lesson thirty three, <coughs> which is too much or little water. Hey, look at the pictures. So here are three pictures over here, and look at them. Hey, discuss and group what you see in pictures. I see flood. I see that all the cities are flooded. D. Read the following passage. Sometimes it rains so heavily that flood occurs because of heavily rainfall. River water overflows at its bank and flood vast areas of land, town, and villages. E three. Write down a few sentences about how people suffer 
if there is too much water. So we need to write a few sentences. So if, if there is too much water, people will suffer very much because there will be a flood. There will, if there is too much water and really big type of flood, then I think even if you have two storied house, then even you will need to live on the roof and it will be really bad time for the farmers because the crops will all be <clears throat> that will, the crops will be ruined and the, the, the movement the movement will also be really difficult so it will be so difficult so anyway let's go to our next page so the next page is B read the following passage sometimes we are really short of water this happens if there is no rainfall for a long period sometimes rivers dry up or the water level underground may sink very low if there is too little water that causes a lot of suffering to the people look at the pictures below and discuss what you see I see drought. B. 2. Look at the pictures above and talk about how people suffer if there is too little water. People of suffer of getting food because cause if there is no rain, then crops will not grow in dry land. If there is no water, then we cannot even bathe. And we cannot even drink water. If there is no water next page is lesson 34 which is an in invitation for Robin hey read the following passages and the letter Robin read the letter over and over he was very excited it came from his aunt Amina aunt Amina and her family live in the country field countryside 40 miles away from Taka. Robin, Robin ran to his mother and said mom listen to this letter then he read it to her dear Robin we are happy to know that your summer holiday is starting from the next week we would like you to come and stay with us for a few days we will know you we know you will like the country we have four ducks, six chickens, and a cow that gives us fresh milk every day. Our cousin Maher is just about your age. He's very excited and is making a lot of plans to do together. Let us know when you will arrive. We all we have already talked to your parents. Tell them not to worry. We'll be at the bus station to receive your aunt Amina and Uncle Karim. Ooh, that's nice. I would love to go to my village. <clears throat> so let's go to the next page. A. 1. Read the letter again and then answer the following question. Why was Robin excited? Because, because he is really excited because he got a letter from his aunt Amina. And aunt Amina has invited him to the countryside. B. How would he go to the country? He would he would go by bus because we say that we will wait to receive Robin in the bus station. A2. Write a few sentences of your own with the following expressions. A. I'd like to. Would you please? I would like to have ice cream. Would you please give me some milk? So, A3. Write a similar invitation letter to a friend. Tell him or her about some of the things you plan to do together. So, this is your homework for today. Okay, everyone? Write it. And just write it and say that. I wrote it and also give me a like. B. 
few days later, after Robin came back home from his aunt's house, he wrote the following letter to his aunt Amina. Read the letter. My dear aunt, I really enjoyed my stay with you in the country. For a city boy, it was a whole new world to see. I was so proud when I first milked your cow, Dulari. Uncle Danny, you have taught me things that I didn't know before. And I, and please tell Maher that I already miss him. I hope you will invite me to stay with you again next summer. Thanks again for inviting me. Robin B1, what do you think the main idea of the letter? She's the best answer. To ask his aunt and invite his and him again. To thank his aunt for inviting him. Tell his heart that he has learned many things in the country. It's number B, which is to thank his aunt for inviting him. <coughs> B2. Discuss in groups what is meant by the following expression. A city boy. It means a boy who is from a city. A whole new world, which is means a world which is very new, never seen, ever. Miss someone. That means we really miss and we we have seen him or her a few days ago or many months ago or many times ago and we really want to see him now that means we miss so next lesson 35 the garden which is our last lesson for today guys so hey read the lessons the story below the garden Arnold Lobel Frog was in his garden Frog was in his garden Frog was in his garden Toad came walking by What fine garden you have Frog He said Yes said Frog It is very nice but it is hard work I wish I had a garden Said, said Toad Here are some flower seeds Plant them in the ground said Frog, And soon you will have garden how soon? asked Toad. Very soon, said the frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. New seeds, said Toad. Start growing. Toad walked up and down a few minutes. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head closer to the ground and cried. Now seeds start growing. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted. Now seeds start growing. Frog ran on the path. What is going on? He asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much. Said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. <laughs> My seeds are afraid to grow? Asked Toad. Yes, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few seeds. Let the sun shine on them. Let rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. The night Toad looked out with Window. Oh no! Cried Toad. You, my seeds have, my seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden. I'll read the seeds a story. Said Toad. Toad read a long story to his seed. The next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds, and all the day, Toad read poems to his seeds. All the next day to play music for its seed. To look at the ground, the seeds, the seeds still did not start to grow. What shall I do? cried Toad. You still seeds are still afraid to grow. Then Toad came, became very tired. He fell asleep. Toad, Toad, wake up! said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants are growing. Are growing up out of the ground. At least, at last, shouted Toad. My seeds are not afraid anymore. What? And now you will have a nice garden. Too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad. But you are right, Frog. It was very hard work. It wasn't very hard work. If he would leave the seeds to grow. Not just sang poems and sing songs. Oh my god. Anyone, choose the right answer. 
first thing to did was he planted with the seeds. A to match the word with, in column B with the word in column B that goes together. One is done for you. Play music. Water plants. Plant seeds. Read stories. Work hard. A3. Review punctuation marks. Read the story carefully again. Notice how the quotation quotation mark have been used. Notice the positions of comma, full stop, quotation, and exclamation mark. A4. Read the following passage. All the punctuation marks are missing in it. Put punctuation mark in it necessary. It's capital letter where you should Bobby and Farid were. This is also your homework, guys. So this is also your homework, guys. So these two are your homeworks for today. So let's go to our next one, which is A5. Learn the meanings of these words. Toad seed, plant grow, shelter. Toad means a type of frog, but toad has short legs. Frog has long legs. Frog. Toad is darker in color and frog is lighter in color. There are so many differences. Seeds. Seeds are the things that plant grows on. Plant, plant is a tree. Grow. Grow means getting taller. Shout. To speak loudly, very loudly. Dark. When there is no light. So let's go to our next. Mm, I don't think so that we need to go to our next page. Let's just go because today we will not Because we're in end of this English for today book. So for now everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also turn on the bell so you miss any awesome videos like this video and we'll finally complete the English for today book. So please subscribe for more more videos and if you think that I will not provide more English videos then you are wrong because I will also provide some other English like animals hobbies and jobs and other things okay so bye see you in next video